Next up is a product to make water sports more comfortable. Hey Sharks, my name is Wes. And I'm Greg. We paddled up the coast of California to see if you want to take a bite out of our company, Driftline. We're here today seeking $100,000 for 10% equity in our company. Driftline is a revolutionary water sports apparel brand based out of San Diego. We're here to solve a big problem. See, a couple of years ago during a Dawn Patrol surf session, it was that transitional time of year where the water was just too warm for a full wetsuit and too cold for your traditional board shorts. A net liner? Do people even still wear these things? They're insanely uncomfortable and don't provide any warmth or protection. There has to be a better way. And that's why we created Drifties. Drifties are the premier two-in-one board short with a patent-pending wetsuit liner connected to a stylish outer shell, offering comfort, warmth, and chafe protection specifically designed for water sports. And we've all seen that guy at the beach doing the classic waddle to avoid the excruciating pain of chafing. But with Drifty's cloud-like wetsuit liner, we solve that problem while keeping you warm and supported. Drifty's have been tested by almost every water sport athlete out there. They've also been tested in the most extreme conditions all over the globe. And remember, you never want to swim with sharks without, without your Drifty's. Drifties. <laughs> uh -huh. Good job, guys. So each of you has a pair of Drifties in front of you. It feels like a neoprene. Is it a neoprene? That's what it is. Neoprene is a rubber foam that basically stores heat and prevents that initial cold shock that you see guys get when they first step in the water. So basically, it's a wetsuit married to board shorts. Correct. We combined the two. Hadn't really been done before, actually. Yeah, we actually have applied for our utility patent on it and hopefully to get guys. it next it couple months. It seems really smart to me. I mean, yeah. I will tell you, it's really great quality. Tell us about your sales. Currently, year to date, we're actually at about $125,000 in sales. Last year, we did about 100,000 in sales, and we're projected on pace to do about 200 this year. How are you selling these? Direct to consumer? Do you put them into specialty stores? So right now, we're actually 99% direct to consumer. Are you spending a lot of money to get people to your site? Actually, not really. Um, this past year, we, we only really spent about $10,000 in marketing. What does it cost? Sorry, you never told us. Yeah. So those retail for 89, it costs $25 to make 33 landed. I'm surprised. I mean, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is complicated. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why we went through so many different manufacturers and iterations to get the real material and product we need. And is your history in manufacturing? No, actually, I had a sales and marketing background. I actually was taking night classes for graphic design, which is my full time now. And that's kind of what spawned the idea. When we had that legitimate light bulb moment on the beach, I needed a project for school. And I was like, well, let's just, you know, see if I can brand this. That's great. And That's by the great. end, we, we actually had a business. And you did it. What's your background? Um, so I'm actually a financial background, and now I'm more in tech and marketing sales. It is a fantastic idea. What I'm struggling with is, can you sell enough just shorts to make a sustainable business? That's part of where we have this patent that we're uh, hopefully going to get in the next couple months here. But really what we're building is not just for surfing. We're also expanding into water sports that need specific iterations on the actual product, specifically for that sport. Give me so, an example of that. For instance, kayaking is different from surfing, and you can add additional lengths to the neoprene and things like that, so you can iterate under the umbrella of the patent specifically for different water sports. How much money will you guys make this year? We're pretty much break even at this point because we're putting everything back into R&D. And honestly, right now we have that funnel of people that want to buy our product. We just need to place bigger purchase orders to drive down the cost and increase the margins. Do you have the orders or do you think you'll get orders if you drive down the cost? So we've already sold out of SKUs and styles for this upcoming season. And the problem is now people want them. So, so you have... cannot keep up with the orders at the moment? No. It's very good innovation. You know, I look at million valuation, I don't, I don't think that's that crazy, but I just don't know how big this market is. That's the only reason I'm out. I just don't feel the, the scaling of it. This is not for me, I'm out. This is a really phenomenal job you've done in the creativity, um, putting the two things together. But you know, I like to hit like a broad mass audience. Love it, love you, but because it's niche, I'm out. I'm not sure about the expansion, like you were saying, how easy that's going to be. But I do believe that if you're in that world, you buy a pair, you're never going to go back to a regular right. board short again, yeah. right? But there's two other sharks here that are in the space. Mark, he's had rockstar numbers with the paddleboard company. And Robert, you have 
Hamboards, Sand I, I think Cloud, you need a and Tipsy also, San Diego. You need a collaboration with somebody who can bring you other people's members and other people's marketing collectively. You don't yeah. compete, you complement each other. So I don't think I can add any value here. I'm out. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you. Hey guys, congrats on what you've accomplished. It, it's super smart. My problem is I don't know if it can be big enough. You know, you can be a two, three million dollar company, but it, it's really not a fit for me. So for those reasons, I'm out. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely in this space, but it's gotta be enough yeah. that it's worth my time. We know this space well, we can really help you with all of that. Like, I just can't do it for 10%. What can you do it for, Robert? I'll actually give you a little more money. There's a term I love, which is accelerate to fail. Meaning, I think you gotta go faster to find that breaking point in the business. Yeah. Let's not do this for 10 years, let's accelerate. I sense an offer coming that's going to be very painful. <laughs> I'll give you 150,000, but I want one third. Mm. Ouch! I, I'm oh. chafing, I'm chafing. No. Oh. Uh, I mean, I, we very much appreciate that. Would you bump that uh, down to 15%? No. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, there is only one shark that's in because I think I understand the complexity and how hard this yeah. is. If you get the patent, if we get the patent, we're gonna need more than 150,000. It's it's a whole nother scale. Like at this point though, little more money, let's go faster. Um, well, Greg and I, I'm... You know, Wes, I can't yeah. read lips, so uh, you don't I, have to I, cover I, your mouth. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> um, I mean, we, we definitely, you know, love the, the work that you've done in the space. I mean, would you do something down to 20%? I mean, could we get you to that number? No, no, I, ju I just, I know how much work it is. I mean, the, I think the, the highest we could probably go is 25%. Robert, that's reasonable. It is reasonable. I'm offering you more money. Let's not forget that. And you know, honestly, if I'm worth 25, you, I'm worth 33. And that that's what I felt comfortable with. That's my gut feel. I'll give you 100,000 with 20%. Wow. But well, you gotta take it right now. Say yes. <laughs> no, I think the highest we can go for that is 15%. Yeah, guys, I mean, think about what's on the table right now. I, I offered you 100,000 for 20%, you only had 5% flexibility, and you said you needed us. I mean, I guess you're indecisive, so I'm out again. What are you gonna do, Robert? I think if you're comfortable at 25, you're comfortable at 28. I'll come down from 33 to 28. What a head squeezer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we came here uh, kind of with numbers in mind, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to pass at that number. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you, though. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Sharks. Good luck, guys. Thank Congrats. You so much Way to stick to your guns. We just weren't willing to give up a third of what we've worked so hard at. But at the end of the day, we didn't feel like his heart was in it. And that's what we're in it for. So, you know, for that reason, we were out.